This is question number 78 from chapter 1 of J.B. Gupta's book and the question goes like The matrix A given below, the matrix A given below is the node incidence matrix of a network. Node incidence matrix is nothing but an incidence matrix. The columns represent branches obviously of the network while the rows represent nodes. True. So this question is also to be solved like we have solved the uh, previous question. So let us name them. This is A, this is A, B, C, D. This is branch 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you have to make it a habit of drawing the graph whenever you are being asked to solve uh, incidence matrix question, right? So we have to name them. This is A, this is B, this is C, this is D. Now let us draw first branch. First branch is connecting 1 and C, sorry A and C. So let us connect it like this. A and C are being connected. C takes minus. So it looks like this. Next to 2, it is connecting A and B and B takes minus. A and B and B takes minus. 3, A and D, D takes minus. A and D and D takes minus. This is 3, this is 2. 4 connects B and D, it is connecting B and D and B is taking the minus, B is taking the minus and fifth is connecting B and C, C takes minus, B, C, C takes minus and the sixth one is connecting C, D, C takes minus, C, D, C takes minus. So here I have not given numbers from 4, B, D, 4, 5 connects B, C, so this connects this. So this is the graph. Now let us observe here. Here we have V denoting the branch voltages. So we have six branches. So we have six voltages V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. Okay, clear. Next, while I denotes the vector branch currents. So here we have I1, I2, I3, I4, I5. I6. Cool. And E denotes the vector node voltages. And here we have four nodes, so we'll have only four voltages E1, E2, E3, and E4. Denotes the uh, voltages related to the common ground. Okay. Which of the following statements is true? So we have been given certain uh, equations and we have to find. So let us verify this A. It says, the equations v1, v2, v3. Let us try to find them inside this. So we are we are talking about v1, v2, v3. That is branch voltages. So this v1 is corresponding to this one v1. Here we have v2 and here we have v3. And they are being combined. So if you see this 1, 2, 3 are not forming any closed loops, right? They are not forming any closed loops. So there is no way in hell to form this equation and them being equal to zero. Because Kirchhoff's voltage law can be applied only to the meshes and loops. And here this 1, 2 and 3 are not forming a mesh or a loop. So first option cannot be the right answer. Let us check the option B. The equation V1, V3, V6. Now here we have V1, V3 and V6. V1, V3, V6. Here we have V1, V3 and V6. Exclude this from the picture. Exclude this from the picture. And here you have a closed loop, right? Here the loop goes like this. The loop goes like this. So let us try to form the loop equation here. Here we have this. Let us say this direction as positive since it is moving in, uh, in the direction of loop. So here we have V6. This is going in the opposite direction. So minus V1. So this is going in the direction. So this is going to be plus. V3 is equals to 0. Let us look at the option. Here we have minus with the V3. So let us take minus as common here such that minus as common and let us write it in the uh, ascending order. We have V1. Since we have plus here, it will get minus. Here we have plus, so it will take minus. V6 is equals to 0. So V1 minus V3 minus V6 is equals to 0. We have verified this. Now let us verify V4, V5 and V6. So here we have V4. Here we have V5, here we have V6. Let us form the loop equation here. It is going in the direction like this. V4 plus V5 minus V6 is equals to 0. 
So these two equations, these two equations are in alliance with option B. So option B is the right answer here. But let us also check option C and option D. We have proved that option B is the right answer here. And we are trying to check uh, what is the information that C and D are going to convey. So whenever we are talking about incidence matrices, incidence matrices, we need to uh, know this relationship. In an incident, see incidence matrix is used for nodal analysis. It is used for nodal analysis. And in nodal analysis, we try to uh, get the KCL equations, right? So that equations in the matrix form will look like reduced incidence matrix into branch currents is equals to zero. And another equation we'll have in order to get the branch voltages, right? In nodal analysis, we will try to find the branch voltages, right? So for branch voltages, we have VB is equals to transpose of reduced incidence matrix into EN. And let me remind you, this AR is a rectangular matrix in most of the cases. It could be square, but it is considered to be a rectangular matrix. So option C gives a relationship between E and uh, e and AV, that is, it says E is equals to A into V, which cannot be the case because here this got, this has got transposed and if at all this has to be sent on to this side it will become inverse even in that case finding the inverse is not easy because this is in most of the cases a rectangular matrix so this cannot be the answer and here AV is equals to zero right AV is equals to zero are the KVL equations for the network this can also be not true because here we are seeing that AR into IB is equals to zero is the equations that we are that we find these are the KCL equations that we find, not the KVL equations. So, yeah. So, option C and option D can be eliminated with the information that we know. And A and B can be solved, can be judged based on the information that has been given. So, for this question, option B is the right answer.